He also said, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. As we realize our failure to live up to Christ's standards and to obey his commands, let us seek God's forgiveness as we pray together. Almighty and merciful God, we thank you for our love which we have received from you and we confess our lack of love for you and for our fellow men. For the sake of your Son who died for us, save us from our sins. Take from us all hatred and bitterness, whether in thought, word or action. Teach us to forgive as we are forgiven, so that we may grow more like him and live our lives according to your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised to forgive all who repent their sins and believe in his Son, Jesus Christ, grant us pardon and for our sins and peace in our hearts, strength in his service and everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us now remember with gratitude those who in the cause of peace and in service of their fellow men died for their country in time of war. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us, and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today.
Let us pray. We give you thanks, O merciful God, for all who have died in past conflicts, that we might live. For all who have endured pain, that we might know joy. For all who have suffered, that we might know freedom. Turn our deep feelings into determination, and our determination into deed, that as men and women died for peace, we may live for peace, for the sake of the Prince of Peace, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. of Isaiah chapter 2 beginning at the first verse. The word that Isaiah son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the days to come the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many peoples shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall come, go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, and he shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into <coughs> cooling hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nations, Neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. So we pray. Heavenly Father, we ask in all humility that these colorettes be dedicated to your glory and for use by the officers of the Apprentice Boys of Delhi. May their use bring honour to the association and to those who wear them. But we pray, Lord, that those who wear these collarettes, they will always be mindful of their duty to you and that in serving you in accordance with your will, they will also serve their fellow members in such a way as to bring you glory. We ask this through your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. faithfulness knows no end, we pray for our Queen and for all those in authority under her who guide and govern the affairs of our nation. Grant that they may honour you and serve for the good of all your people. Help them in every situation to know and to do the, the thing that is right, to uphold justice and to promote peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray together for our communities. We pray for this community and for all the communities represented here today. We pray for peace and prosperity, for security and tolerance, so that 
our communities may offer a welcome and be a haven for friend and stranger alike. Help us, O oh Lord, to remember that you made each of us in your image. As we leave this place, we do not leave your presence, but grant through the power of your spirit that we may live and work for your glory and for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray together the prayer that our Lord Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We join now in singing the hymn, Your kingdom come, O God, will rule, O Christ begin. Amen. 